Hi, I'm Mark from Trinic. Today we're going to show you how to use Trinix admixtures and CSA additive, which you replace some of the cement with, to warp concrete. Now you can warp any concrete. The thing about CSA mix is it causes the concrete to set faster. So your window of warping happens maybe today five to ten minutes after we pour it. What we're going to do is pour concrete into this mold, which is the tarp that I've cut in a circle. We're going to start with it up here. The reason we're doing that is when, as we're filling, we're going to let it down easily so that it takes the wrinkles out of the tarp so we don't have any wrinkles. When we get it all the way filled down in here, we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and we'll, we'll test the concrete for flexibility. When it's ready, we're going to put a bucket in the middle and then we're going to lift up on the edges and make a little flower pot. Now once you know the basics of how to warp, you can apply this to anything else you want. You can make tables, chairs, whatever you want to warp. It's endless. We'll probably be doing more videos on this just because it's fun to do. We're going to use our uh, mix design we've used in the past. We'll show it, show it to you on the screen. And then we're going to start filling, let it down, let it set up, and then bend it upwards. Now the reason I'm filling it while it's elevated is because it takes the uh, lumps out of the fabric. As we're filling it, it takes all the lumps out of the fabric and smooths it. uniform, a little less than three-quarter inch. Now all we have to do is monitor this, and when it's ready, we will lift up on the forklift. One of the clues you'll have that it's starting to kick is you'll take the temperature. Right now it's holding at 78, just went up a degree, 79, gets to 80 couple, it'll start to run. Then a touch. Right now we're all run through the metal, so obviously it's not ready. Our heat signatures jumped up to 82. You can test it a little bit. Does it want to run down the hill? Probably still yes. Getting close. Another couple minutes, maybe. I'm going to put this to establish the center of our flower pot. Now, Vinny's going to start lifting. Go ahead, Vinny. Got a minute or two, if you've got any tears, you can work the tears out with a little bit of water. Uh, 
we've got to hustle because in about five minutes we're going to let this tarp down and we'll be done. You can also go around the top and level it off a little. It'll save you a little time later. Now I can feel it getting really firm. That's it, our working time has ended. Let it sit for five and strip it. It's been about 10 more minutes. We're gonna let it down, work the top. Go ahead, Dave. I covered the piece with plastic and I threw these insulating blankets on just to catch the heat cycle. That way it'll set up a lot faster. It's been about an hour, so it's probably 3,000 psi, I would say, 4,000. We can handle it without fear of uh, cracking it. Now that I've let it set up for about an hour, I'm going to work my edge. If there's a lot to take off, you can use a rubbing stone. Just to neaten it up. Now to smooth it off after you use the rubbing stone, this is 120 grit. The 120 grit will cut off any fiber that's sticking out. As you can see, flipped over, it actually makes a nice uh, coffee table. What I'm doing now is going 
going over it with acetone. The reason for that is we're going to use Trinix Versicolor on this piece. It's lithium silicate based, or you could use it acetone based, either one. But since we're using a lithium silicate color, I need to get all the wax off. Now for color, I'm going to use Trinix Versicolor. The reason we call it Versicolor is because it'll go into a variety of mediums. You can dilute it in, today we're going to dilute it in Trinix LS Lockup, which is a lithium silicate. It can also go into acetone, or it can go into alcohol, or it can go into water, depending on what you're using. The lithium silicate will densify and embed the color. Now you have to seal over top of it, but it's very powerful and it is UV stable, so you can use it for outdoor projects. We're going to start with dark, just for the heck of it, I'm going to start with dark, and if I work my way up, it's going to get lighter and lighter. This is actually a color we call blood red. I flipped it so it's easier. It does look uh, amazingly like blood red. The way I like to use color, I realize no one will ever see this bottom, but on a project like this, I prefer to apply it with a rag and then wipe it. As you're doing that, you can really start to see the texture of the tarp. Now I'll get a little sloppy with it, let it run on down these grooves a little bit. That way I won't wipe it out of the grooves. You can vary the concentration of it too to make it stronger or, and or weaker. As you can see, it really takes the texture of that tarp and really starts to look cool. Another trick you can use is to just dip your finger in some undiluted and then work it where you want the deeper highlights. As you rub, you can see the tarp texture really coming through, which looks cool. I'm going to highlight my way around a little bit, and then uh, we'll turn it up and start going lighter as we get towards the top. Now, as I work my way up, I'm going to get lighter. This particular color is called Deep Orange. You can measure out if you have a whole big slab. I just like to dilute by eye. Work it in, see how it looks. Stand to be a little lighter, so I'm going to dilute, dilute it a little more. Now I'm giving this top part just a little bit of lighter orange, blending it down into the, the deeper reds. Now the only sealer I would use for this is our Trinix Stamp Shield. It's an excellent solvent-based acrylic with a silane component, S-I-L-A-N-E. It, uh, it's a low build, high performance, so you're not going to get a thick plastic look, but it will thoroughly waterproof the inside and the outside of this without causing problems. You want to use a, a uh, pop-up sprayer, I suppose you could brush it, apply thin coats. If you need another coat, that's fine. Put it on. Don't overapply it. Don't put it on until it runs. It flashes off very quickly. Hit your inside. It will lock your color in. 
and uh, we'll give you years of trouble-free service. And I'll let it flash off in about a minute, two minutes. If you need another coat, go ahead. This outside's flashed already. I'm going to go ahead and put one more thin coat on the outside and call it good. I hope we've given you a lot of inspiration. We tend to make things, show you how to make them, so our customers can run with it. I'm imagining a 15-foot planer that's poured the same way, or even a fountain, pieces for a fountain. The inside of this piece actually looks great. Give us a call with any questions, we'll be glad to help.